So many of our families, when they come up to the mountains, bring all the little guys, like Louis got his little kids with him today, and, and that's the tradition that we have grown up with. We have been up here picking berries. Um, well, I've been up here my whole life, pretty much for as long as I can remember. The grandmas, the grandpas, the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, we all come out and enjoy the time together. You know, we we laugh, we joke, we tell stories. Holy jackpot! <laughs> we tell different stories for different purposes, but there's always, always a purpose for it. And the, the uh, younger ones remember those stories. I guess when you're a kid, you don't realize what they're doing, but you know, our elders, our grandparents, our aunts, our uncles are teaching us. Grandma used to always put some leaves on the, on the top of the Oh. While we're up here picking berries, we are also preserving our ancestral rights. I feel the utmost responsibility to carry on our culture, traditions, customs, teachings. And so from doing some of this work, we know what our duty is and how we keep that tradition or custom alive. We came up here as kids and now we're up here as adults and now we can show our kids like where where to go you know what we used to do as children and those stories get passed on from generation to generation it's like a deer you just travel through there like ziggy go ahead and go through that way there's a whole bunch of berries over there it's an exciting time of year for everybody for the whole entire tribe you know everybody's talking about are the berries ready yet like did you guys go up there and and everybody just loves coming to the mountain because it's so quiet, it's so peaceful. So relaxed up here. My daughter, my six-year-old, calls it a nature nap. It's just a proud moment to come up here and be like, we can do this, and it humbles you. It really is a humbling experience how much work goes into picking these little berries to create a pie that makes everyone happy. And I think about us around the table when the pies go out, everyone's like, I want that one. And we're all crowded around it. And it's funny, you know, it's picked with love and made with love. Yeah, I dropped the berry. Our ancestors picked here, they stayed here, they lived here. They treasured the berries, they treasured the salmon, they treasured, you know, just all of our life. I'm trying to pave the way for my kids and my grandkids and make sure that, you know, I'm bringing them back to what we originally used to do. But I can't imagine living any place but here, you know, because this is home. You know, our kids are here, our families are here, the tribe is here, and, and we, we love this land. It is a part of who you are. It makes you feel so great. I know after I come back down from the mountains, I feel very much refreshed, relaxed, and I'm ready to go back to work and very thankful for all my ancestors and everything they did because we could still do this. And again, we see it at the table. We see it when we're sitting down with our families, like how much this berry matters to us, how much it means to us. Ooh, I see the red one right here.